let's go. Tacos are looking fire. First spot of the day. It's popping. Kitchen is active. But man, we got a good four tacos right here to start. So on the right, we got the tripa con todo. Everything with the guac, the onions, cilantro. On the left is that suadero. I'm so excited to try this one. And then these two are adobada con todo with everything. Perfectly cooked. They, they have a huge trompo here. Outside's crispy wrapped in that corn tortilla. That looks so good. We're gonna have to start off with that adobada though. Shaped like a cone, TJ style. First bite of the day, it's gonna be a good day. Cheers. Mmm. The adobada here is actually a little spicy. And the tortilla has a strong corn masa flavor. Crunchy, and wow, that guac is so fresh on top. All right, let's move on. Next taco we're hitting right here is the tripa. One of my favorite tacos. Cheers. So I'm not gonna lie, I usually like my tripas pretty crispy, and here it's not really that crispy at all. The texture is okay, it's more chewy. It's actually really chewy, but the flavor in there is good. Definitely, I wish it was a little bit more crispy, but still good flavor. We're moving on. This is the one I've been waiting for. This is that suadero which is like kind of like a beef brisket soaked in the fat and boiling in that lard. Man, this is gonna be so good. That's like the favorite here. Everybody here comes here for the suadero. First bite of suadero, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. The lean parts of the beef in here are very meaty and thick, but the fat parts are so soft. Like the toppings here are very fresh, so definitely adds a lot of textures and flavors to all, all of these tacos. Mmm, mmm. This is such a meaty taco. Some charred pieces in there, some fatty pieces. Out, out of all these tacos I tried, this one's the best. The suadero is like killer. Mmm. Man, those tacos are smacking. Great way to start the day. But I got one last adobada. I'm gonna finish it up real quick and I'll catch you guys in the next spot. Guys, we just got to the next spot. We're at Tacos El Chino, right here on the main street. And we came here specifically to try some crazy tacos. So let's check it out. Gracias. Let's go. I'm hyped. This is crazy. I was tripping out what the paladar is. So when I ordered it, they said it was like something in the mouth. And I think it's like the throat. And it's so fatty and jiggly. You could tell it's gonna be gelatinous, but it smells really good. On the top of that, that's the ojo, which is the eye and that is a beef eye. They took it straight off the cabeza. Got these two con todo, onion, cilantro, and some salsa. So this is the arrachera right here, which is basically like a skirt steak, and it's uh, supposed to be like a regular beef flavor, but the texture and quality is supposed to be really good. So I'm gonna save that one for last, but let's try these wild ones first. I actually don't need to like put any toppings on these. They already, I got it con todo, so that's everything on it. And, we're gonna start off with the eye, the eyeball. This is insane. I don't even know if I wanna touch this or not. <laughs> oh, I just try to pick up a piece of that eyeball, but it's feeling so weird. It makes me kinda not wanna eat it after touching it, but I'm not, I'm not gonna back down. I'm gonna try this. There's huge pieces in here. They didn't like really chop it up that much. I could tell when my first bite's gonna be all meat, that huge fatty piece of eyeball. Let's try it out. This is the ojo. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I did not expect that. It's like all fat, all beefy fat flavor. And then there are some parts that have like a bouncy texture, kind of like a octopus with fat. Imagine that. Octopus with beef fat. The flavor is not like weird at all. It has like a regular beef flavor. Mm. Mm. I didn't expect it to be this easy to eat. I thought it was going to be like a bite or two and I'm good. Like I don't want any more, but it's actually really good. Very rich though because the fat, but definitely like texture wise, that's probably the craziest part. But the flavor is pretty normal, like beefy fattiness. Oh, gracias. Which, 
Oh, thank you so much. Just hooked it up, man. That's the homie right there. He, he was helping me because I'm not, I don't speak Spanish, but he, he's the only one here that was speaking a little English and he was breaking down the menu for me, but he's on the spit right there, cutting all that alabada up. And he just came and hooked it up, gave us two on the house right here. But man, back to the eye though, this is crazy. I did not expect to like it this much. It's really good though. Mmm. Mm. I could only explain it so much. You guys need to try it. I'd say give it a try. It's not as scary as you think. Wow. Wow, that's good. I'm gonna try the arachera, which is like the skirt steak here. This is our waiter's favorite thing on the menu, so I'm expecting this to be fire. House-made corn tortillas. They're like fluffy. Freshly made right here. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. The best way I could describe that first bite is like upgraded carne asada. A little bit more tender than the asada, more juicy. But yeah, it's like very meaty and it's really good, especially with that guac and the tortilla. Wow, this is like, you can tell, high, higher quality beef. Mmm. Wow. That's fire. All right, so we're gonna try the paladar now, which is, look like some type of throat from the beef. Straight out the cabeza, the full head. Took it out the throat and started like scraping it off. But honestly, this one looks pretty similar to the eye, like with the texture wise. Wow, oh wow. Check this piece out right here. Look at how fatty that looks. But at the same time, look at this char on the top. And then all this like chewy, jello-y fat. This looks crazy. <laughs> First bite of paladar. Taco con todo. Cheers. Mmm. Not gonna lie. That one is like a pure fat taco. It's like fattier and like crazier than eating pork skin cuaritos. That is really the texture of bone marrow in there. I thought the eyeball was fatty enough, but that one is just like next level. Definitely, you could order one of these tacos and share with somebody and satisfy. That was crazy. Well, we're gonna try the adobada straight off the spit right here with um, onions. And they actually put like a cream sauce on it. Let's try it out. There's some freshly cut pineapple on there. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Through all the sauce and all the water juice, you still taste that hint of sweetness from the pineapple. Amazing spot, 10 out of 10. Blown away by the experience and didn't expect it to be this good, but we gotta keep our tour moving. I'll catch you guys in the next spot. Are you guys from Oaxaca? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I really want to visit Oaxaca one day. We're going to go there and film me eating. Oh, <laughs> All right, guys, we just got to Popotla. This is a small fishing village south of Rosarito. It's still considered Rosarito, but it's like at the very edge. And you come here to get like the freshest seafood. And there are like nice little hole in the wall restaurants. We found this spot called Pukila and we're gonna order a mojara frita, which is deep fried fish. And I'm excited, this is smelling crazy. And we're like on this little strip of like restaurants and you can see the oceans, it's, it's dope. Everything is fresh right here. They got a bucket of seafood and they're just cooking it up. Right now they're actually gutting my, our mojara. So let's check it out. He's taking all those guts out, cleaning it up for us. Oh, he's taking all the scales off. They're flying everywhere. Why the name in English? The scales. Scales. Yeah, taking all the scales off. Ooh. What do you like the most? Most. Yeah, like your uh, the best thing on the menu. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Spanish. I know. I need to learn my Spanish. Me, it's good English. 
Oh yeah. You know good amount of English. No. It's good. No, you. Good I, I understand you. Uh huh. <laughs> Me no. <laughs> Me problem. <laughs> Ya está las mojarras, mira, pero esta va a ser para, para my friend. <laughs> okay. Ooh, look at those mojarras. <laughs> Gracias. The family that owns it is actually from Oaxaca, so they put their twist to it. And we're, we're ordering a mojarra frita, which is a deep fried fish. We're gonna see her fry it up right now. Let's check it out. Ajo. What is that uh, sauce? Is that um, seasoning? Ah, uh, sazonador. Oh, uh, like the garlic? Is it um, like a? Uh, oh, garlic butter. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, garlic butter. That looks good. Thank you. Gracias. All right, let's dig into the mojara. So the mojara is a full fried fish. They just straight up gut the fish, put some slices into it throw it in the fryer for like five minutes and then after they top it with garlic butter which is insane i've never had a mojara frita with garlic butter on top even like the tail is edible they fried it all the way through so you could eat this whole piece of the tail and the fins you could eat all that it's so deep fried that like everything is so just like crispy like a chip and on this plate they actually serve it with rice beans and a side salad and um, I asked for some flour tortillas to eat with this. First, we gotta hit this oyster though. It's fresh, caught right here off of the shore of Popotla. Let's go, cheers. Mmm. Wow. Melts in your mouth. You could tell that's a fresh oyster by the texture and that little, it's not grimy, it's like a little sweet. Oh wow, that was so good, man. All right, let's dig into the mojara. Every spot we ate today, all they all had house-made tortillas. Makes the, the food taste so much better. But you know the drill. This is our little utensil right here. We're gonna just like grab a piece of this fish. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That is so good. The fish is so tender and juicy. That fish oil seeps through. Perfect crunch on that skin. And that garlic butter is just like fire. That's so good. All right, let's 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 dress this bite up right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, don't play. This is gonna be a good bite right here. Mmm. Mmm. That's a lot of flavor. Wow. Trying to keep it chill today. It's dope. Eating this on in this restaurant, we get a super sick view. We're like right over the water. We're on this restaurant's on stilts, and the water's like going under the restaurant. Crazy. This little fishing town is hidden gem. You guys gotta come through and check it out. I'm so glad we came here to end the day. Really cool spot. Look at this head meat right here. It's like, oh my gosh, look at that juice. That's all that fish oil peeking out. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. That's fire. Wow. Man. Overwhelmingly amount of flavor. So complex. That's so good. I could eat it alone for sure. Just snacking on it like this. Just gotta be careful because there's like hella bones in here. They don't take any of the bones out. Mmm. Let's see an oyster. I gotta run the last oyster back. Mmm. Mmm. Can't beat that. So fresh, so soft, so sweet. That's so good. You guys definitely need to come through, check them out. We're at Mariscos Pukila here in Popotla. This is like a must stop for me now on the way to Ensenada. One of the best mojaras I've ever had. And like I said, they're so friendly here. They're like family. Thank you guys so much for watching my Rosarito food tour. I'll catch you guys in the next video.